Thank you, Senator Peralta. And, and I thank all my colleagues that are here, and I thank everyone that is with us here in the room, as well as those that are watching us online. The district that I represent in the 33rd, the 33rd district in the Northwest Bronx, just so you can get a sense of what we're talking about, the median income is about $25,000 a year. And just to underline some of the points that my colleagues have already made, when you're talking about the cost of living in this state, when you're talking about the fact that over the last 10 years, while costs have skyrocketed, wages have remained stagnant. What we're talking about today is raising the minimum wage, and we're doing it, we're doing it bit by bit. Eventually, what it would mean is 300, about $300, about $50 a week more than the folks in my district are getting. And think about what that means. For a family that earns, as some of my colleagues said, $16,000 a year, $50 more a week will mean a little bit more groceries and perhaps a metro car. And that's the reality. That's what we're talking about. So what we're, talking, what we're doing today, and I'm very glad that we are having this conversation, and I'm very much looking forward to some of the testimony and some of the conversations that we're going to have, because the fact is that the right uh, and conservatives have done uh, a very good job at communicating effectively something that is not true. And that is that this is an effort that is going to destroy the economy, that is going to kill jobs. That's the message that's been put out there. What we're going to do today is talk about facts and talk about how this small change in the minimum wage will allow ultimately for working New Yorkers to stay in the state. We, last year we had this whole conversation about the millionaires tax. Millionaires are leaving the state in droves. No, they're not. The people that are leaving the state of New York are working class people that can't afford to stay here. So what we're doing today by talking about this piece of legislation is talking about our continued efforts to make sure that working New Yorkers can stay in the state. <coughs> they can continue to be parts of the state. And I'm certainly looking forward to this conversation and ultimately to passing this bill. It is good for the Bronx. It is good for New York State. And I'm very happy to be here today. Thank you, Senator.